please explain to me why every religious text since the beginning of time, whether it was the Quran, the Bible, the Torah, every 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 single religious text refers to women as being kept by men to a degree to control them from bad habits. Why did every society, whether it's the Asians all the way to the Mayans, to the Mexicans, to the Arabs, to the Jews, every society did everything in their power, Hispanics culture, Hispanic culture, etc. Everything, all these societies did everything in their power to control females from themselves. That's just not accurate. Like, there are matriarchal societies all over Africa. Like, Name one matriarchal society that stood the test of time and is still around. That stood the test of time against colonialism? That's crazy. There none of is, them did. None of them did because of colonialism, <laughs> because men are terrible. No, no, no. Like, but, well, here's the thing. <laughs> men, are, men are terrible, but men protect women from other terrible men. I, mm, Yes. No. yes. That no. is true, though. Men but protect then, men protect women from other terrible if men. If that was true, then we wouldn't have, have women who are being raped. We wouldn't have women who are being oppressed. We wouldn't have situations where women are harmed. Well, that's that's true. True. I don't see men protecting me. Like, so you live in sorry, America. I, What's the army for? Yeah. Really? What's the police for? What the police? Yeah. What the police, police is out here to just be for real. Let's be real. Let's be for real. Let's be for real. Tell us how you really feel. Okay. Tell us how you really feel. The only the reason why you are able to be on this podcast and say the ridiculous and ludicrous things that ludicrous things that you're saying right now is because there are men, a majority, that are willing to die to protect the freedom and rights that you currently enjoy now, and you don't even know that they exist, and they're in the military. Those men in the military are supporting an occupation across the world the united states has 800 military bases across the world they're in engaging in ongoing colonialism and imperialism right now those are not my men those are not the people who protect me the people who protect really? me are my family the u.s military does not stand for me does not protect and me who they, your family protects you my my mom protects me my sister right there protects me my brothers got me oh, like your brothers I, those are the real protectors my brothers they, and they're men they're men of course i'm not saying like and who are they protecting you from other bad men? They're really not protecting me from other bad men. <laughs> like the only bad men I can think of is the ones in the military and the police. <laughs> They're the ones that you saying are protecting me and they really not. Who hurt you? <laughs> who hurt me? Who hurt you? Who hurt you? Who hurt you? Who hurt yeah. me? I'm sorry. I'm just awake in, in a world where y'all don't want to be awake. I'm sorry. Uh, you I know. We woke up today. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I'm you're an activist, so I feel her. The only reason you're able to say the things that you're saying freely and criticize the military and the police is because the military and police exist to give you that, that right that you're exercising right now this minute. I'm so sorry, but that's just not true. Really? Like, yeah. I've, I've had the police follow me for speaking up against issues of injustice i've been arrested i've been I've, I've had to go to court several times like i hear you saying that but they not doing that these niggas is arresting and hurting people who are speaking up against freedom of speech that's what's happening in atlanta right now with cop city like yeah, there are people facts. who are literally fighting for their lives right now who are fighting for freedom of speech and they're getting that shit stripped mm -hmm. from them like that's mm -hmm. like so i don't know what you're saying bro but that's just not it that's just really not it once again okay okay see passion. that hold on hold on no violence is occurring right Nothing's happening to you, right? Okay, that's because you live in the United States. Mm -hmm. You have a First that's... Amendment right. Mm -hmm. Whether you want to acknowledge it or not or say that there's some issues, it's still the best when it comes to freedom of speech in the world. And again, the military, the police, the civil servants are here to allow you that right that you're enjoying and you're literally exercising I'm, right now. I'm sorry, but if that was true, I wouldn't have gotten pepper sprayed by the police. I wouldn't have been beaten by the police. I wouldn't have seen my friends get arrested. I wouldn't have been arrested by the police. If that was the case, I, if that was the reality, I would believe you. I would be there with you. You probably were doing listen, a protest and you weren't peacefully listen, protesting, which was, is why you got mace. I can hear the hurt in your voice. No, they, they, Obviously, they you've beat been the fuck lot, out of you when you, even same, when you're not peacefully protesting, when you're just on the sideline. Do not. Like, so I was true. a front line. I was at front line at Black Lives Matter Plaza for a long time, seven months. Oh, that's so. the problem. You're you the Black white. Lives Matter one. I'm that's not white. That's the issue. I am not white. I'm white, you, black, Guatemalan, Italian, half Asian, okay, Pacific American. Okay, but that's American. the problem. You are, you are, you are <laughs> a Black <laughs> Lives <laughs> Matter rally. I am black. Let's keep it a thousand. Look, look, look. Y'all might not want to hear this, but I'm going to tell you guys the truth. The black Lives Matter is a domestic terrorist organization. <laughs> that's I said right, it. but I'm, yeah, a, I'm yes. part of the movement, They're, not the organization. Okay, well, here's the thing. The police don't know that. So when you're marching with them, say Black Lives Matter, all this extra shit, they're burning buildings, doing whatever, they only have a split second to figure out if you are an antagonist or not, and they don't know. Well, so but people don't the, even understand well, the real so definition the of Antifa. Like, okay, look, they're terrorists too. I, 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 here's the thing. The definition of a terrorist is someone, right, 
who tries to embark on violence or something for some type of political change or whatever. And that's what BLM is. Well, so, I've been put, I've been so, targeted online. If you look, look up, it says, uh, if you protest with BLM, okay, it says BLM you, hooker terrorist. You're going to have to deal with the consequences so, of that. Like, when, that's you, my name, when we live in the country, says, BLM hooker terrorist. When we live in a country that engages in the certain kind of violence that the United States does, yeah. by any means necessary, exactly. are people going to fight back? Nobody in Africa got free from their colon- from the people who colonized them by singing Kumbaya being happy, all that. These niggas fought. They fought. They shot. I'm from Ethiopia. We killed okay, the Italians out. I will. Then. No, 100%. I will. I will. I will. Well, 100%. Why am I here? If it's that bad, because it y'all mean if, if it's in the thing, there's a war right now out there because of the United States government funding the war back home. So that's another thing. You tell me to go back. I would go back if the United States government wasn't funding wars and engaging in terrorism in other countries that's forcing people to come here. If our countries were okay back then, then we wouldn't come here. It's not safe for here. It's just what you call it. Go back. Go back. Okay. That's so simple for y'all to not understand the complexity. No, 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 here's the thing. No, no, no. So here's the thing. Like, that's it's a nice really try, cute. but I definitely understand because you know what? I'm your, I'm your next door neighbor in Sudan, <laughs> so I definitely know. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm from your part of the world too. Yeah. So I'm 100 percent aware of what you're talking about. But guess what? The United States is still a better country. If you don't like it, you are free to go back. I guarantee you, though, if you're a first generation, they'll give you an Ethiopian passport. Go back if you think it's that great. But you won't. Why? Because you're able to say the things you want to say here, like you are doing I'm right not- now, without any type of fear of violence. If you said the things that you're saying back about Ethiopia, the Ethiopian government, oh, God. you'd be on a pirate ship somewhere. Mm-hmm. Kidnapped. But, uh, what you still oh, not understand is people in America cannot speak freely against the violence and oppression that they're facing. I can't you're say doing it right now. I right? really can't because right, I know the FBI and the police is watching me right now. I said, <laughs> go ahead, free all the niggas in the jail. <laughs> what? Now, who's man is this? Who's man is this? Let me, let me tell you. Something, all right, oh, there's someone that was actually a former special agent with Homeland Security. All right, oh, people like you, people like you are at the bottom of the totem pole, they're no. not worried about you. I'm trust me, they're not <laughs> really? okay. They're, no, they have is. real crimes to go after. I'm telling you, I would not even open a case I, file on someone no, like you. No I was, I was, Secret <laughs> Service pulled me out from a Trump rally, like, I'm not even allowed. You're in a Trump rally. <laughs> <laughs> You had a Trump rally, you probably yell at fuck America and shit. Of course they don't stop you. I didn't get into the rally. I didn't even get into the rally. Secret Service pulled me out of the line because they called me out by name. Because you marched to a BLM probably. (laughs) Come on, man. Of course. They're like, yo, get this chick out of here. Come on, man. You got to, yo, ladies. You got to exercise a little bit of common sense. If you're marching with BLM, right, the police are going to look at you a little bit crazy because BLM does what? They burn buildings. They fuck places up. They hurt they people. Don't. They shoot people, etc. Mm-hmm. BLM, if I'm all, for all I know, it's pretty much stands for build large mansions because they be embezzling <laughs> money from people, too. That's true. You know? I, I, That's the organization, though. Yes. That's not the movement. But you're marching with them. Is a, but, but you're marching with them. It's the that. same banner. It's, a L. it's not. It's not. No, There's it's the not. movement for black lives. The movement for exactly. black lives is something different. And that's what It I'm started like, as that, but it's not that no more. I'm somebody no, who, we're talking about... Who, well, I specifically am talking about in DC actual <laughs> Black Lives Matter. Why are you plaza. talking? You're white. Right. <laughs> I'm not white. <laughs> I am mixed. White, black, Guatemalan, Italian, half right, Asian, Pacific let's, American. Let's get back to the topic at hand. Because okay? <laughs> we were talking about Instagram and y'all made this a political discussion. <laughs> All right, which is great. I, I love I love being able to talk about this stuff. But ladies, without a shadow of a doubt, in another foreign country, you would not be able to say the things that you're saying without fear of some type of violence. Okay. You guys might not like the system, you might not like the United States, but it is still the best country no. in the world when it comes to the ability to say your opinion, no. say your thoughts, okay, with away. with peaceful protests compared to other countries. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. But it is the best compared to the rest of the Western world by far. Yep. 